Hey guys, it's Brandon with Better at Beach. Thank you guys for tuning in. We have a special episode for you today. I don't know if you guys have heard of the names Kelly Clace and Sarah Sponsel, but they have qualified for the Olympics by coming behind in the very end of the race and securing their spot by finishing first in their last two opportunities to qualify for the Olympics. So big congrats to Kelly and Sarah. A few weeks ago, we were fortunate enough to have Kelly on with us for a webinar and she goes a little bit in depth of her journey of trying to qualify for the Olympics, what has helped her in the past to get her to this level, and some little fun tidbits about herself. I hope you guys enjoy. I started playing beach when I was 16, was pretty committed to indoor and then kind of switched over in college, just played beach in college at USC and then graduated in 17, started playing on the AVP and FIVB tour. And right now, Sarah Sponsel and I are ranked eighth in the world, I think, and we're the third US team in like the Olympic rankings, which is crazy. She's 24, I'm 25. That's like pretty surreal and yeah, it's crazy being in this position at this age. We did have an event in Doha, so I guess this is kind of like in season for us. So I'm in the sand four to five times a week, just kind of depending on how my body's feeling. Normally I'm in the gym four times a week. And then we do film as a team two to three times a week. We do sports psych every almost every week or like some type of team building or like our coach calls it like a whiteboard session. And then I'm in with my PT two to three times a week for FIVB events usually we'll like get to a location on like Sunday or Monday. And then usually we'll play Thursday or Friday depending on qualifier country quota, main draw, whatever we're in. And that obviously changes our training schedule. But if we're in the main draw, then like Monday is getting acclimated to time change and like location, temperature, all of those things. We might go run around in the sand a little Monday. And then Tuesday is practice and lift. Wednesday is practice and lift. Thursday is usually just like, just serve and pass pretty light. And then Friday we usually start. When I first started right out of college, I think biggest difference like between college and professional was obviously like skill level, but just like we were now like playing against women in college. Like, oh, everybody's like the same age. Everybody like looks the same. We're all like developing versus like going out and playing professionally. It's like, oh my gosh, like these are women and this is their career and this is their job. And I'm just like this little girl like out here trying to play volleyball. So like that was a cool transition from like college. I feel like I have like physically like developed more kind of after college. I tried to lift heavy in college, but I felt like I had a certain point and and maybe, you know, there's so many different factors, nutrition, your body's like health, that like I reached a point in college, like, okay, I, I don't really think I can lift anymore. And I thought I was lifting very heavy and I, I get out of college. I felt like so many different pieces are being put together now. Like I have a really good nutrition plan. My gym kind of like does everything for me. So like we have a doctor in house and a PT in house, nutritionist in house that they all like talk with my strength and conditioning coach. Everybody's kind of on the same page. and. I think because of all these like pieces, I've been able to push a lot more like physically and I feel stronger than I've ever felt before, which is like really cool. But yeah, I think like physically like that transition has been cool, but I'd say like AVP versus like internationally, I think excluding like April and Alex, cause they're the top team in the world right now. I think there's like a drop off with like the AVP. I don't know if it's lack of like experience or just different skill level. I just feel like the level of play like internationally, everybody is so good. There's this grit, like the intensity feels different than when I play on the AVP tour. And I don't know what it is, but I like, energy wise like it feels different like there's another gear internationally and when i first started out it's like oh my gosh okay like if if she can do that i can do that and it's i feel like elevated my game even more and i think that's why like i was successful like on the avp tour like so young because i had like that experience internationally the girls just played different 
when I make a mistake. My tendency is to like sit in it too long and either think about that past mistake or I'll start thinking about, oh my gosh, what if I do it again? So I'm not living in the present. So for me, it's just like refocusing on like being in the present. Physical touch is like really important. So like squeezing the sand like in between my toes gets me back. Going over to Sarah and like, Instead of just like a high five, like I'll squeeze her hand, helps me like get back into the present. When I'm like in the present and in the moment, I can get back on track. But when I'm like, when I get internal and yeah, just like going down this rabbit hole, that's when, that's when like two points turns into six points. I think it's super valuable having a coach. I think everybody internationally has a coach. Um, and having that extra set of eyes, I think is super valuable. I see beach volleyball, that, that partnership, like a marriage. And I think at times like that coach is almost like the marriage counselor, helping us really dive in and dig into things that we need to talk about that maybe we just like don't feel like talking about. I feel like when everything's great and you're winning, things don't get talking about because because you're winning, everything's great, right? And then when you lose and things suck, all the bad things kind of come up. So I also think like having that other person to just help facilitate conversation because they're not out there on the court with us because we don't, we don't get coaches while we play. For me, like when I was looking for a coach, I really wanted someone who wanted to invest in Sarah and I as athletes as well as people. So I'm so happy with our choice in Jordan. He's done such an incredible job diving into us on and off the court. I think we're both still very young and I think he's done a great job getting us to really dive in and think about why we think a certain way or say something and just asked questions that no one's really asked before, which has been cool. So yeah, uh, I've, I've worked with a lot of other coaches who are just kind of like, this is business and we're at work. And I've been in other partnerships that are like that too. So I think like figuring out what's best for you and what you want is like kind of the first step, especially like in picking a partner. I was looking for someone like I got along with on and off the court. And then I feel like that shifted my perspective of what I felt like I needed out of a coach. Cause before Jordan, it was just like best credentials. Who's going to make us better, like on the court. Like that's all I care about. And I think when I made that kind of mental shift, it's been kind of a game changer. So it's been cool. What's a dream week? Qualification for the Olympic games and another gold medal on the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Tour. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video with Kelly. If you want to follow them, their information is below. And let's make sure that we all tune into the Olympics to give them the cheering that they deserve.